Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to answer some of the questions on my YouTube channel. Okay, so maybe I will make a video about 10 minutes and yeah, just answer some of the questions on my YouTube channel. By the way, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you. Okay, all right, so this is a question from Gita Pick. It is one day ago. Hi Jackie, I have Femora 13, latest page subscription about the elephant in the room can you track the image and use Filmora to crop and zoom? Crop to the center, center the image on some point in the frame and zoom to resize the image so that it stay in the focal point. And the outside frame is not bouncing around. Kali apply video stabilization. So I think it is not possible in Filmora now because when do we do the motion tracking? It just, yeah, it's just a flat. A flat surface like this so we have a tracking point and we have a subject that is stick to the tracking point when we move the tracking point the the subject the subject just move around the surface it is not like a 3d zoom or stuff like that so when we do the 3d zoom or zoom in or zoom out the object will be just something jumping like this okay so it is not possible in femora now all right so the next question please I need help how to change or manipulate the bitrate in Filmora 13. I always make a 4K video at 50,000, 48,000 bitrate video and Filmora output is always lower with the bitrate and how can I fix this? So maybe you are using variable bitrate meaning that the program will decide the bitrate number for your video. So you, if you want to maintain 50,000 or 48,000 bitrate in your video you want to select constant bitrate i will show you how to do that okay for example this is my femora 13 and now you want to click at the export button and then you want to click at setting menu and we have a bitrate mode here if you want to maintain a constant bitrate you want to change it to cbr or constant bitrate number so now you want to set your bitrate maybe 48,000 or stuff like that okay something like this and then you want to click apply and then you can export the video and after that you can check double check the bitrate number in your video okay and now it finished exporting let's open the folder okay and this is my example video so we want to right click and select property to see the bitrate number and select the detail here and this is a bitrate number it is 48,000 462 kbps so it's similar to 48,000 kbps so this is how to maintain the bitrate number of your video you want to keep it a certain number you want to change the bitrate mode to constant bitrate instead of variable bitrate okay let's go to question number three okay this is the third question i have a lifetime license of femora what happened if i deactivate does it make the account not able to use it again? I gave my friend the account but now he basically betrayed me. And I noticed the account is still active and I deactivated his account. So I don't lose the, the account. But I have no idea what deactivating does to the account. So actually you don't have to deactivate the device in your account center. All you need to do is to change the password of your Femora license or the account password so it will help you protect your account because it will stick to your email so when you change the password it will send a link or a code to your email and then you can get that code and you can create a new password for your account it is better to deactivate or activate the device in your account center okay so let's come to another question how do you change the time feature in each video for example what i would like to use minute two from one video and minute five from another video so this is about the split screen template in Filmora 11 by the way we have the same template in Filmora 13 so actually it is very simple let me show you how to do that for example this is a video or if you import anything anything to your media you can set in point and out point for your media so whenever you set in point and out point when you drag and drop the media into the split screen template it will be that that section okay for example, I can make a template here, go to split screen, and I choose a simple one, like this. Okay, and now I need to import the video and set the in point and out point for my video. 
okay by the way i just want to use a stock media for example this is a video okay a full video so we want to double click to play the video and see here we have the playhead of the video if i want to maybe use this one starting from eight seconds i can press i on my keyboard okay just press i to set the in point and now i can adjust the out point here or i can press o to set an out point and now we have in point and out point here for our media and it is simple to just go back to the split screen and then we can just drag and drop this media to the split screen template and it will be that section okay starting from here and here's the split screen so you can do the same for other video okay and this is a question from crypto rim for for us I needed insight on how to use different parts of silent detection. Do you have a tutorial on three options you have in silent detection? All right, so let's go to Femora. And now we have a silent detection option. So we have to import a video. Okay, so this is an example video. So this is a, my video in Vietnamese. By the way, we can split this part. And we are going to use a silent detection for this part only. Okay, so in order to start the silent detection, you want to select the video here. And then you want to click here at the silent detection option. And there will be a new window. Okay, so we have three parameter here. So maybe you're asking about this parameter. Actually, the last parameter we is soft softening buffer i don't understand this parameter by the way we have two other parameter here the first one is the volume threshold this is the the percentage of the audio that you want to to decide it is silent in your video okay and for example if you have 100 percent is your audio level and you can inform or you can tell the software that if the the audio is lower than 25 percent it is silent so just mark that silent for me okay so that's simple right and the next one is the minimum duration for your silent if you decided to go maybe higher than 0.5 second 5 seconds or stuff like that so it will only find the silent part that is longer than 5 seconds so other part we we have silent but less than 5 seconds we ignore okay for example if we select minimum duration 5 seconds or stuff like that then we, there will be no silent in my video according to the program for example we can click here analyze and you see that we don't find any silent in my video because normally when i pause it's just one second or two seconds or stuff like that so you want to reset this to normal and it is the same with the softening buffer because if we increase the soft softening buffer to five seconds then there will be no silent in my video also because the program cannot find any silence in my video okay so maybe you want to just reset it to normal for the volume threshold we can if we increase it to 100 percent meaning that it will silent all the video it will mute the or the audio in the video because you decided to to let the program know that 100 percent of the audio is silent okay for example i can click analyze and you see here it's silent so the video is silent okay here and we can click finish and replace so these are the parameters in silent detection feature you want to maybe adjust like the way you want okay so let's go to the next question okay so this is another question from smart point 360 how to copy multiple elements in femora so i think it is very simple okay uh, let's exit this one if you have multiple elements on the timeline you want to select the first one and then you can press and hold your control key and select another one and then you can right click and select copy so this is how to select multiple objects in Vimora by the way you can also drag your mouse like this to select multiple objects on the timeline and then you want to right click and select copy so this is how to copy and paste multiple elements in Vimora okay okay so this is a question from Sancho recap hello Jack I'm using Vimora 12 can I upgrade to Femora 13 without losing my current plan? So actually when upgrading from Femora 12 to Femora 13, all you need to do is to pay for the upgrade fee. It will be 29 or 30 US dollar for the upgrade fee if you are not eligible for free upgrade. And your license plan will be replaced with a new one. So you can use Femora 13, 12, 11, 10 and 9. So 
and because I already upgrade my plan to Filmora 13. Okay, so hopefully it is helpful for you. Uh, this is a question from Test TL. How can we export video without purchasing in Filmora 13, please? So I don't know about this answer, okay? Okay, so this is a question from Joe. How do you ship a clip left or right when trying to send audio? Thanks. By the way, in Filmora, we have an auto synchronization option. You can do that. You don't have to synchronize yourself manually. By the way, if you're asking about how I move a clip on the timeline, this is how I do it. For example, I can just use my mouse. The first option is to use my mouse. So I can just move it and put it right here. And sometimes when I want to find an exact point in my timeline, I can stretch out the timeline like this. Okay, so it is one frame, two frame, four, three, four, five. So this is just frame by frame. So I can put my playhead here at the point that I want to put another clip and then I can just click here and drag it to this position. It will stick to my playhead, okay, something like this. So I normally do this when I have to synchronize the audio manually, okay. Okay, so that's enough for today's video. I hope this is helpful for you. If you still have any question about Filmora, about other stuff on my YouTube channel, just let me know in the comment section below. If you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.